Hi, Trevor. It's Iceman here with K-Bands Training. We're going to go over a little bit of shoulder rehab for you with baseball. You know, if you get hurt, if your shoulder gets hurt, you're going to be out for weeks, you're going to be out for months. So it's important to take care of your arm. Grab your set and up, uh, set of upper body K-Bands. Grab your long string, one of the handles. This is going to be about the uh, best resistance for you because you don't want to get too heavy. If you go over five pound dumbbells or you use anything too heavy, your deltoids are going to kick in. The most important thing about shoulder rehab and keeping your shoulder strong for throwing is we want to work our rotator cuff, okay? So this is about the right amount of resistance that you're going to want. Nice thing about our upper body K-bands is we can clip it to the fence anywhere we're at. We're out here on a nice hot summer day. We got a fence, we can get our shoulder work in. We're going to start today with a medium range at about belt height or belly button high. You're going to keep your arms straight. Use your throwing arm first, but it's always good to do both arms. You, you don't want to neglect one arm and not get it the work it needs as well. We want to develop a full body, strong, a good core, and you're going to increase your athleticism and play better no matter what you do. So we're going to go through just the throwing arm side. And then you make sure to add in your left arm, right arm, whichever you are. First move, again, belly button height. Going to have a straight arm, get a nice comfy position. The band is slightly in front of my body. I'm going to keep a straight arm, and I'm going to resist on the way back. All shoulder rehab should be done with three second counts on the way back. That's how we work our decelerator muscles. Most injuries occur when you throw on this side of the throw, okay? So everything right here, your shoulder is gonna resist and slow your arm down. So it's very important that we work to decelerate this band rather than just yanking it around. We wanna get here and work to decelerate it so it helps those muscles, all right? Each one of these moves, we're gonna go for about 12 to 15 reps, those three second counts, all right? Probably about eight to 10. Write these down, take them out to the park with you, take them wherever you need, or you can use the strap and flip it around a pole if you're at home. This is the first move. This should take you about 10 to 12 minutes a day. Next move, belly button high still. Arm comes up in a good L parallel to the ground. Now I'm gonna rotate back and then I'm gonna decelerate forward. You always wanna work in this L because when we throw, you're going to throw and you're going to get in a position where your arm goes back. And then when it comes forward, you're going to internally rotate as you throw. So this portion right here has to stop or you're going to tear your shoulder. So this exercise, again, 12 to 15 reps. Elbows high, parallel to the ground. My core is tight. I'm rotating back, resisting on the way forward. 12 to 15 reps. What I like to do is do about 12 to 15 reps, take yourself about a 30 to 45 second break in between each one, and repeat the sets. So this move, you wanna go about three sets. This move, three sets. You can also superset. If you wanna do this exercise, and then move into this one, and then take your 40 second break, you can do that as well. We're just gonna go through the overall uh, array of exercises that you can do, and you can mix and match as you please.